Who is Lila? <laughs> Bug. Alright. That's in the queue. Thank you, Death Rose. Second time's the charm. Oh, Lala's a Yu-Gi-Oh card, I see. Lady, are you like a pro at the TCG? This works. Barely. I want to say this is good for Jirai and nothing else. I'll double check. I'm taking it though. We're out. Let's go. The Invigoration Run. Hey Gwen, thank you very much for the 50 bits. Super generous. Glad you are enjoying the stream. Well, we've got a leg cool in the opening hand. That's lucky. Okay, so Invigoration works on literally only Jirai Guma. That's it. I believe this is the worst card you can start with that's acceptable. If this is an S Pow, it's gonna save me a duel later. Kinda of tricky to get with cards this bad. Let's see. Oh my god. 400 is my best right now. Alright, so this is gonna be the last run of the day right here. I think it is going to be an S-Pow. You want to know something interesting about this game? The soundtrack is iconic, right? One of the very best of its era. 
I believe we don't know who the composer is. The composer was not credited for this game. Maybe we've found out since and I'm just not aware. Kind of a shame. They deserve a lot of credit for this one. Even like random cutscene songs are super top tier. Okay, gotta get 15 more S pals. Here we go. Pretty good starting cards, actually. Good question, Fred. I'm not sure. Because yeah, I know it's the same team that made Duelists. Maybe they're listed in the credits there. Oh yeah, as a reminder, unless I'm playing a bug card, the max is 1600 attack and 1800 defense. Those values are non-arbitrary. Those are the highest stats you can get out of your starting deck. Down 14 to go. A couple of bats, that's good. Oh, I have a dragon in the starting deck. In that case, I'm gonna put some of these water cards back in. Interesting. Even in non-meta runs, dragons are good. There are a couple of 1600 dragons you can work with.
Kappa Avenger, and that's it. Here we go. Quick dragon zombie. Barely allowed. Alright, already off to a better start than last run. We got a fake trap. And nothing else is going in. Cool. But we got a fake trap though. If I can just get one alpha, we'll be good to go. And you've got to get at least one alpha. Like if I wrap up all of these duels, and I'm over whatever. Over 225 on Alpha. Gotta keep going until it happens, unfortunately. With Fake Trap, there are backups with Alpha. No backup, it's too important. Oh, early alpha, I see. This is looking pretty excellent. Going on the tracker. a really good start. Shame the equip's not better, but I'm not gonna be too picky.
Gonna put in just two of these. Actually, no, one more bad card is fine. Yeah. And I guess I'll put in the zombie. There we got room. So this part, I really just want strong cards. That's the priority. Rebo for good luck. Shame that card's not involved in any unique fusions. Oh my god. Yeah, sure. Speaking of strong cards. Um... Beautiful Headhuntress is the best offensive card you can get from this. Very rare. There it is. Yeah, this is uh, maybe the best sort I've ever had. We got a fake trap, we got an alpha. We got a lot of good feet down. It's looking so promising. So promising. But you know. We might get Seto Wanda again. Might get Jirai Gumode again. Who knows?
yeah, dry being over 1600 attack is fine, because it's a bug run. The uh, 1600 limit for the attack stat and the 1800 limit for the defense stat, those only apply to non-meta cards, aka non-bugs. That's so you're allowed to use stuff to like, you know, farm early or just fill out the deck. But the focus is always on, you know, whatever the challenge is about. Whether that's an insect run or a sea serpent run, diner run, whatever. So it's definitely an insect deck, but it's not insect exclusive. I think it's a good balance. That's right, we're still at it with the insect deck speedruns. I'm not surprised. I mean, insects aren't very good. It was bound to take a while. By the time we get to the final six, it is gonna be all insects and a lot of equips. I mean, a lot of equips. Too many. A good question, Flake, if you're gonna do a female's run, which um, field cards are allowed? Honestly, you could probably make the case that any field card that boosts a female, which is probably gonna be all of them, right? I think just all fields are allowed. Yeah, Newton, I mean, ultimately the number I chose, I like it because, number one, a lot of the more overpowered early fusions, like Flower Wolf or Queen of Autumn Leaves, those are banned. And stuff like Mystical Sandwich is top tier, super banned. Yo, I got an alpha. Top deck alpha. Thank you, thank you. I also like how it's non-arbitrary. Um, what's going out now? No real use for pyros at this point. But you could make it 1800 or 2000 or whatever. Ultimately, it's your call. I want to see more people give these non meta runs a try. All right, here we're going for alphas, and we're going for fake trap. And beyond that, it's all about starships. Gotta get 80 starships for Jirai. Hello, JD. Yeah, the two big reset points in the run are, number one, village your one right here. If you do 15 or 16 duels, and you have no alphas, no fake traps, which isn't that uncommon, it's better to just reset. 
And then number two, it's the Weevil Apow. You've got to get a second Jirai to have a chance. It's got to happen. The odds per card with an Apow of a Jirai Gumo, 0.24%. Over the past couple of days, I'm like over a thousand. Say it again, sure. You heard correctly. The odds of getting a Jirai Gumo per card, 0.24%. This is why we're doing 15 cards. From who? From Weevil, of course. That's my third headhuntress. That's crazy. Oh, it's my second, never mind. Look at all of these insane cards. This is a beefy deck. All right, let's get rid of Hurricane, some of these Aquas, and get rid of the Fiend card at this point. Very nice. So yeah, what's interesting is that you can get Jirai from Anubisius, but it's not worth delaying because it's one in a thousand. The odds are actually lower than with Weevil. Compared to one in a thousand, one in four hundred, doesn't even seem that bad. Doesn't even seem that bad. Well, it's gonna be uh, one extra turn, I think. Maybe not. Now we're good. Okay, three more duels, then we're back to the campaign. Yeah, I don't even need these cards.
call your shot. How many leg holes do you think I'm going to end up with here? I'm going to say six. Two votes for eight. We'll see. That's a lot of leg holes. Here we go, the final farm. Will we see triple alpha? Be pretty nice. Okay, we're out. The best start I've had to date with the insect deck. Okay, so... Yeah, only the two alphas, that's fine. I can buy the third one, that's no problem at all. And then fake trap. I got three fake traps, jeez. <laughs> all right, this is, uh, this is a huge run right here. This is a big time run. That one out, uh, get rid of a couple of these. Maybe one of these. All right, so for leg hool, ended up with 12. 
That's a little bit too much. I don't think anyone called 12. All, right, all I'm asking for here is a good set of one. This is actually a good start. I just made an accidental pumpkin. <laughs> now I have to lose on purpose. <laughs> I keep forgetting that um, Bean Soldier is not a real soldier. So why is it in his name? God, that's here. This is gonna be two minutes lost. Thanks to Pumpkin. I'm so sad right now. I fused something crazy. That's pretty crazy. It's pretty good. This is still the best throw I've ever had. Despite this nonsense. I got a gift to sub. Hey Nindara, thank you so much for the four months. Anytime I make an accidental pumpkin, I give to sub. Okay, I'm on the verge of losing here. Let's go. But yeah, either you lose on purpose, or if you win, you add a 30, oh nice top deck, a 30 minute penalty to your final time. And that's to avoid, quote unquote, accidentally doing something really beneficial. Oops, I accidentally made a twin headed. Tee hee. I guess I'll just win the duel that I otherwise would have lost. I'm so clumsy. No, you can't be doing that. So that's what it looks like if you go above 1600 or 1800 or both. Put in a third light bulb. Hello, Glowy, how you doing? Alright, yeah, I've got to update the 
Jirai Gumo tracker number. From zero to one. So last duel was shaping up to be an easy mode. Let's see how this one goes. Okay. Good. That's Seto's best card is a 500-400. I think I'm gonna win this. Ah, uh, okay, GG. <laughs> what a hand. Jirai, Triple Legul, and a Raigeki. It's over. It's the easiest Seto I've ever seen. Check this out, by the way. Exact Jirai kill. Man, imagine how good this would have been without that accidental pumpkin. Would have been crazy. Yeah, Pumpkin is apparently a really good card for a challenge like this one, if you're doing like a plant deck. Is it a plant or a zombie? I think it's technically a plant. But I don't know. So far, all I really know in this game is the meta deck, the twin-headed deck, and the bug deck. Those are my two areas of relative expertise. What a resume. Oh, it's a zombie. I see. Uh, Yugipedia is a good resource. Pocket Duelist is a good resource. This is the two I would trust. A tri-horned dragon opener? What a terrible Haitian. That's better. Nice top deck. Hey, for the record, in the John O video about the uh, the bug run, John O uses Launcher Spider, which is not a bug, so that entire video is invalid. Hate to break the news to everyone, it's a fake video. 
Although he does show off the really cool double attack tech. Probably worth bending the rules for that. That's honestly one of the sickest accidental mechanics in any card game. You metal morph at Jirai, and you can attack twice in one turn. Yeah, its primary is machine. Otherwise, it'd be really useful. Like, that 2500 defense with a Mega Morph can wall most of the game. Did I get anything cool? No. Are right, going for the BCD here. Beast Fangs is much better as an insect equip than Invigoration. Anything but Clown, please. Hey, Blor. Really appreciate the 13 months, thank you. Man, I love that Jubilar demote. It's my favorite. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's my favorite. Caterin just knocked it all the way out of the park. So good. How was that an A, pal? I should have taken, I think if I took 10 points of damage, it would have bumped it down to B. Well, it's not all bad. You can end up with a 1600 with an A, pal. Hey, I got two good cards. Maybe A, pal was better. I mean, Beast Fangs almost never happens. Those cards will be immediately useful. Especially Irby, which has Mars. Okay, going for the campaign APAO. And then we're back to the farm section for the epic 0.24% farm. It's just, it's so epic because it's literally one in 400 odds. What were they thinking? I don't know what that card is. A tenderness opener? Looking like an A pal.
One more fusion should be fine. pretty tough, so I'm happy with how that went. Oh, it's an S-POW even. Alright, here we go. It's the pivotal moment in the run. Once I get to 30 wins of any kind here, you'll see I'm currently at zero. If I don't have one, the run is dead. Faith Bird? Sure. Oh, and a better bug. Reminder, this guy in Mars beats a Jirai turn one. What a good guard. Oh my god, that might be it. Never mind. Now the second I get a dry, so unlike the other farm where you have to get to 15 wins, here it's just as soon as possible. Sore, that's a good one. I'm gonna keep in one leg goal for now. It's lucky. as well. Oh, nice. It's 
no big deal. That, however, a little unfortunate. When it comes to the Weevil Ape, how 1600 is a key threshold to reach. There are a couple of roadblocks still, like Cocoon or Drive or um, that one 1600 defense plant card. It's like Green Phantom King or something like that. But most defensive cards are 1500 or lower. That's why these cards are so valuable. The Guardians going in. Marvelous can go in later. I've got my very own Ancient Tree. Such a useful card. 600 attack, huge. Quagar Hercules debut. There he is. That's why you get the alphas. Also, happy one hour mark. That's a really important drop. We're also looking for Fiend Kraken. Wait, I have, I have three Rogue Dolls. I got three Rogue Dolls from that one farm? Huh. Well, isn't that something? blunder. It's a blunder. 
If only I had put it in Mars. Well, now I got a Raigeki. Or just lose. Yeah, I'll just lose. It's my own fault. Star signs, very important. Oh, by the way, I ran the numbers. I was told that it's 6% odds of a turn one Jirai. Obviously, that's not correct. The true number is around 15%, which feels correct. About one in every seven duels or so. to do here. This might just be enough. Nice top deck. Well, that should be fine. I'm gonna go for a, a quick trade here. Quite unlucky. So long as that's not a cocoon, we're in there. I would not have been too happy with a top deck dry into a top deck cocoon. Oh, that's a giant flea, or two. Nice. And, um, nothing much else. But those are going in. be a little awkward to beat here. Yeah, um... I'm kinda tempted to trade, but... We'll see. Dang. Yeah, I think I just throw in the towel on this one. Oh, never mind. Never mind. It's actually totally fine. So I'm looking for something sun. Perfect. Okay, right back in there. Thank you. 
Oh, I love the AI in this game. Very spicy. Yeah, it's a good start. I um I made an accidental pump king versus set of one and had to reset. Other than that, though, it's been really nice. There's my third flea. I'm gonna put this in over. Not sure how useful Petite Dragon's gonna be at this point. It's all gonna come down to getting Jirai in the next 25 farms. I'm really due. Assuming you get all A pals, which is not gonna happen, but it's easier to assume. You'll average it one every 400 cards. I got a forest. Hello, Quill. So far, so good, yeah. No complaints. I was worried that was gonna be a toon alligator. That's really unfortunate. That's a brutal top deck. Here we go. Oh, that's even worse. Uh, I've got to find Raigeki. Yet yeah, this is looking completely hopeless. I'm gonna give up here. Go for the BCD. Thank you. 
There it is. Now, this is not a mono bug challenge, but it's a bug deck challenge. Exclamation point rules if you want to know more. But basically, you can use any monster card so long as it's 1600 attack or lower and 1800 defense or lower. If you want to go higher than those thresholds, though, which you got to do, you know, pretty early on, it's got to be part of the meta deck, in this case, an insect deck. Which, frankly, I think is much more interesting to play and maybe even watch than a solo bug deck. Because the thing about a solo bug deck, if you want to get that to happen, you got to either, like, do a whole bunch of deck setup, you know, by trading cards across different memory cards, or use a game shark. This way you can start a fresh file and build the deck yourself. You're a nice mirror match. This way you preserve the routing aspect of Forbidden Memories speedrunning. Moths are not possible to get, sadly. Have I seen the whole swapping discs from JPN to NTSC? No, tell me about it. What does that do for ya? Swapping disc regions? What's the point? Uh, Quill, it's defined in the paste bin. No, it's really simple. If you want to go above the threshold, it has to be a part of the deck you're using. So if it's an insect challenge, it's got to be an insect. If it's a warrior challenge, it's got to be a warrior. If it's a dino deck, it's got to be a dino. Oh, the disc swap is convoluted. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Oh, that's bad. Here comes the fusion. Oh, never mind. It's easy mode, maybe. Oh, it's a top deck Jirai. You know, I'm starting to think that uh, maybe even the 15% number is incorrect. There might be some hidden waiting or hidden prioritizing. That's interesting. So you can use the disc swap to get cards that are normally not obtainable. That sounds very glitchy though. I'll have to look into it though. If nothing else, this is a win. If nothing else, it might be a uh, fun glitch to mess around with.
was very smooth, okay. Have I thought about farming Meadow Mage for the actual Quagar Hercules card? Yes. In earlier versions of my notes, that was an optional farm. All this routing I did myself, so it was kind of messy to start, but I determined that was not worthwhile. It's the same drop rate as MBD. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Can you imagine going for a Quagar Hercules farm and getting triple MBD? I just be so sad. <laughs> now, if you happen to get a campaign Quagar, well, that's obviously worth putting in the deck. I swear to God, this guy gets Jirai every single time. Still an ape out, but I mean, she's so ridiculous. On paper, 15%. How does he keep doing it? One third of the way there. Alright, so if I can make a uh, Cyber Soldier, still in this, or just get an Urubi top deck. That's nah, not gonna work. Oh, well. Oh, wait a minute. No, it's not enough. I forgot the D Human has Mars. Not quite strong enough, though. Probably just worth losing on purpose. We'll see how the next turn goes. Oh, what's this? 
Marine, Marine Beast. The big plus 100. Sick. I'm giving up. That was a cool fusion. I give up. You got this one, Weevil. Green Beast W. Hey Aaron, how you doing? Really appreciate the 17 months of support. Oh yeah. This game's got one of the best soundtracks ever. Honestly, gray-white's kind of a tricky opener. I do have this, at least. I play cards based on your field, or does it just play the best card? Well, it depends. Um, if the AI field is empty, they have to play a monster card. And there are certain edge cases like Magic Lock. I think I'm still zero on Fiend Kraken. I'm gonna start here. Committing to Pluto is kinda risky. Oh, you know what? Does this guy have Neptune? I should've gone Neptune here. I've never had to do that before. That would've been really smart. Well, no. Now you gotta get Jirai. Or just give up. I'm giving up. These have been a uh, pretty tough Weevil Ape house so far. The deck is good, but... They've been tricky. Thank <laughs> you. 
is off to a good start. Oh, hey, so you know what we could talk about today? The GDQ games list came out for AGDQ. How about that? Do I want to put in three faith birds? Nah. Nah, we're good. We're good. As always, I think it's a banger list. Uh, Castlevania is not going to be as prominent this time as it's been. I mean, honestly, it's had a great run. The past, like, three years has been just, like, a full Castlevania block every event. This time around, just a couple of games. Bobby's going to be doing Zangetsu All Bosses. It'll be a great run. And we've got uh, one more. I forget which one, though. I was said that Hensachi wasn't able to get in. She was offering up uh, a few runs, actually, including the brand new Julius All Bosses stuff. You know, those insane corner clips from the new TAS. Hopefully, she submits again. Because I think that'll get in eventually. It's a great speed run. And it's, it's amazing how that tech is like a year old for a game that's 20 years old. I think it deserves a showcase. Yasudo's in there. Very exciting. Mario Maker 2's in there. Always a good time. Oh, I missed that one. Majora's Mask 100%. Add a GDQ. How long is that? Six hours? Five hours? FF5 weird? What do you mean? Hey, what does that mean? FF5 is not weird, it's the best. If the record for 100% is 430, the estimate's gonna be a minimum 530. I mean, it depends on the specific circumstance of the run, but that's where I'd put my money. You always go way over. Better to be ahead of schedule than behind schedule. Now, I was watching Spike the other day. And I got a good idea for my submissions for SGDQ. Uh, Spike made a good point, which is that going forward, incentives that are like 
choosing between different games that one runner submits could bring in a lot of cash. So I think I'm going to try that. Maybe you submit, you know, all three GBA games. Or maybe just like a couple of DS games or whatever. And then offer up a potential bid war. You know, do you do Portrait any percent or Dawn any percent? Do you do Circle all bosses or Aria all bosses? That's it. Okay. Uh, well, I got to do one more. I'm locked in here. I told you we were due. So that's going to be my plan. Get a few runs ready so I can offer up like a variety submission list. Ritual, Aria, Circle, etc, etc, etc. Please, streamer, remember to save and don't leave the menu. And lose all this progress. This is a really good time. Maybe I'll get another one as a bonus. If I want to submit the DS Vanias, I kind of need to wait for the DS collection. It's sad. When are we getting it? Okay, so this is really nice. Because now we go from Weevil to a brand new place. Weevil. Again. How many violent rains are there gonna be? Oh my god. I also might have uh, close enough star chips for a third alpha. Oh yeah, I got enough. Let's go. This is such a good bug deck. I mean, what a run. The only main mistake, the only blunder, was that Pump King. No, I didn't get a third one. Boo! Boo! Alright, so what's going in here? Um... Honestly, I think this deck is probably fine for fusions. I got too many warriors, I think. Some of these can go. Bird can go. Okay, so now triple a fake trap. And the bear trap. I'd like one more, but I might get one from the ATEC, so it should be fine. Let's go a couple of zombie cards. Oh, wait, the equip. I almost forgot about the equip. This is kind of awkward. This has to go on Jirai, which might cause problems. Here we go. So this is the 5-4-3-A tech. This is just a perfect start.
five fusions, four trap cards, and uh... Oh no, sorry, it's um, four effectives and three trap cards. Yeah, I got it mixed up. So in that case, I do have one trap card to spare. You're gonna see how good it is that Jirai has only got 100 defense. It's actually so useful. Now here we're looking for a couple of equips. This guy drops laser cannon and insect armor, both at around 3%, which is really high. That's 2 1 1. You can also get Dark Hole here. Eradicating Aerosol. Well, why not put the guy in defense? Whatever. So we have two. I'm just getting the effective attack going. 2 2 1. Bug spray is an option. There's some okay trap cards here. One more is ideal. Oh, hang on, I almost messed something up here. You know what, my life points are um, too high. This could be a problem. So one more fusion, one effective, and uh, I gotta get my LP down in a hurry. That'll work. I think. Surely. Nice. Well, basic. One more turn. All right, this should be an A tech. Fusions. <laughs> Some of these cards are actually too strong at this point. All oh, right, Judgment. All right, cool. I had forgotten all about Judgment. It's a non-meta card, and it's above the threshold. But if you throw it away in the middle of a fusion, it's fine. One more turn.
Yeah, exactly. It's about quote unquote playing a card above the threshold. And play means you place it on the field. Which makes sense. A meta does not stand for most effective tactic available. It comes from the Greek prefix meta, which is above, beyond, or around. However, that is maybe a decent way to remember it. All right, so what do we get? Anything good? Uh, hello? Uh, hello? Hello? Oh my god? Are you kidding me? Nice. Zero of the 15 cards were good. I, I guarantee that will never happen again. This guy is loaded with good stuff for the bug deck. Truly unbelievably bad luck. Oh well. Oh yeah, none of that's gonna work. Let's just, uh, I don't know. Do this. <laughs> yep. I think this is a uh, GG, unfortunately. This is not looking good. <laughs> 0 for 15 A-Tech into turn 1 Jirai. It's classic. Yo! <laughs> I never had a chance. I wonder if that guy had the triple. We're not gonna find out. Now go ahead and show me the Jirai, if you don't mind. Good enough. At some point we'll do 100%, yeah. Not anytime soon, though. Well, I'm gonna get all the trap guards I need. Very nice.
You gotta hold on to that. Alright, so the count is 3 2 2. That's the best you got, huh? A 1k. How disappointing. Once again, a little bit nervous about my uh, LP situation. This is not gonna be good enough. I'm gonna be off by 100. Well, gotta wait a turn. Alright, now we're good. Not to worry, Cervante. There is no way I go over 30 on equips when it's 6% per card to get something. There's just no way. All right, here we go. Okay, got bug spray. Dude. Okay, there is one. Still not very lucky. One equip. And one bug spray is way below average here, but I'll take it. We're at least on the right track now. We might be here a while. Look, it's fine. The Jirai Gumo farm was so good. We can afford a little bit of time here. Giant plate. Okay, no dry, we're good. Yep.
Yeah, Bug Spray is good for um, Anubisius and perfectly ultimate Great Moth. That's it, but hey, look, for that it is useful. I'll use Raigeki next turn, but then I have a Jirai. Well, actually, might as well use these. By the way, Fairy Dragon is an unobtainable card, which is too bad. That's one less dragon you can get. Do I play quote unquote actual Yu Gi Oh? This is actual Yu Gi Oh. This is the OG. This is before the TCG. Do I play the TCG? No. I probably never will. Yeah, when it comes to the equip routing, that's a good question. Uh, I've decided we're 100% gonna get triple Megamorph every time. No exceptions. I think I'm gonna keep doing all this until I get at least six. for the uh, laser gun on the tracker. Shouldn't be too bad. I already used three trap cards, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. Looks like at least one dark hole. Final flame, huge. There we go, another one. These have not been great, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, 
I'm gonna put a second equip in. Um, let's go over Arm the Ninja. On the bright side, at least the two equips are different. Spread out is better. If you end up with three of one equip and then you get a fourth one, it's a waste of a drop. Hmm. So sadly, you cannot buy multiple of a card. You can only buy one of each. Otherwise, yeah, you would just get 240 star chips. Get three true eyes that way, be much easier. That's nice. Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, I picked the wrong star sign. Oh, that'll work. Okay, nice. I still need a couple more fusions. This is not great. I'm low on fusion material here. That's actually huge. Um, let me hold up a little bit.
Actually, two of my remaining cars are Jirai Gumo. So, um, maybe this is not great. Might not have enough here. Okay, this is barely enough. We gotta just activate that trap card first. Then we'll wrap this one up. Yeah, you want to get three forests for the end, but those, you know, you're always going to get those. And if you only have two, by some fluke, you can buy a third one for 55 star chips. This is perfect here. Yeah. Living vase, huh? Weevil, that's uh, it's not gonna cut it. We're due for a good one here. There's one. Alright, one more equip again. Still no dark holes. It's actually very surprising. Yeah, I've got five of forests already. So two more equips and one more dark hole I can leave. But hopefully it uh, ends up being better than that. Where are the trap cards? I don't know, I feel like this is probably on the short list for best battle theme ever. It's gotta be in the top 10. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, this is a really good A-Tech. Two more turns, we're done. Okay, let me see two dark holes and two equips. Not really, really asking for that much. There's a dark hole, and we got a fake trap too. That's my fourth one, actually. Never mind. That's an equip, but it's the wrong one. <laughs> That's the one for plants, sadly. All right, we got a dark hole, and it's fine. Not great, but it's fine. And I will put in the second bear trap. I can go in over, uh... It's like going in over, eh? One of these bugs, probably? It is incredible how good Jirai is, yeah. Especially for this run where, um, the standards are so low. But it's a great beatdown card, and it's just fantastic for activating traps. My estimation of this card is even higher than it was before learning the bug rounds. Very low on fusions here. That's a good Hercules. Count is 311. Yo, Friday, thank you very much for the insect deck raid. We're trying to do some non meta stuff in this game. You know, it's all about twin headed most of the time. So we're trying to learn some weird decks. I'm starting out with like maybe the toughest deck possible, which is the bug deck. It's been a lot of fun. We're in the middle of farming for some equips right now. Hopefully, you had a good stream. I guess I can give a quick explanation of what's going on here. A techs are kind of confusing. An A tech is a battle of attrition. 
You gotta get a lot of things that are very specific done. So what we're looking for here is five or more fusions, four or more effective attacks, three or more trap cards, three or fewer cards remaining in my deck, less than 7,000 life points, and more than eight turns. It's very particular. We're on good pace here. See, I didn't grow up with this game. I've been playing this game for about two months. I'm a latecomer to this one. But I'm glad I picked it up. It's one of my new favorites. That should be a successful attack. Yep, another equip. One more, I can maybe leave. Okay. Hang on, let's take a look. Let me just make sure. Yeah, we're up to three and two. Um, I'm not gonna sit around and wait for a second dark hole. I mean, it'd be nice to have more than one, but that's fine. Let's do it. Let's get out of here. Back to the campaign. You know, I'll keep in some of these dragon cards here. Yeah. They're not too bad. Okay. So my ultimate goal time for this is sub six hours. This is super on pace for that. Well, that's a pretty good start. That guy's just a win. It's just a win. Another one. <laughs> See, this is the cool thing about the bug deck. Equips are really easy to come by. Like, I know it's 15 card and all, but you're not gonna end up with six equips this early on without massive amounts of grinding, unless you're using a bug deck. Weevil delivers in a big way.
Now, Weevil's got 90% of the bugs, but not all of them. Like Villager 1, for example, has got Kua got Alpha, and Keith has got Hunter Spider. Which is really good, it's a 1600. But the odds are just insanely low, so don't count on it. What do you do here? Wood remains is not good enough. Dude. <laughs> this is a weird duel. That's fine. Oh, it's a twin header? That's fine. Just give me a drive, please. <laughs> Quick drive, you don't mind? Dude, oh, this, is, this is actually ridiculous. <laughs> Too many equips. I'm probably dead. It's dry or bust. No, that's not good enough. I could hold out for one more equip. Nah. Go for the drive. It all comes down to this. GG. Not an, honestly, not enough bug cards. I might want to add more bug cards into the deck at this point. I'm doing it. Uh, it wouldn't have been enough. Let's just go again here. Build deck. More bugs. So what's going out? Um, honestly, the machines at this point are not doing like anything for me. I think that'll end up being a lot better. Rest is fine. Yeah, much better already. So this should be a win here. Favorite card, 1930 defense.
See, that wasn't so bad. I'm not gonna get a BCD, but that's fine. I'm happy to just win. Oh, I did get a BCD. Okay, nice. Fluke BCD. So let's see, the odds of Hunter Spider are 0 0.39. Did I get one? Almost as low as a Jirai. We'll find out after the Mucho text, though. And... No. I got a Metal Morph and an Invisible Wire. It really is a shame about Launcher's Spider. Such a shame. Oh yeah, we're not done with the farms yet. I gotta go for uh, triple Megamorph, no exceptions. We must get three Megamorphs. I feel like the reason some of the other good runs in the past have died is because I've tried to make it work with two. Two is not good enough, it has to be three. Oh, this is a bad opener. Uh, when it comes to Soden, everyone uses Bizhawk. Oh, what a bad hand! Where are the equips? Yeah, no problem. I mean, this is a wall. Of course. Alright, Bakura. What do you got? No crazy fusion? Okay. This 
is still not good enough. Trap card is. This is so okay. Where are the equips, man? N look, next hand is gonna be minimum three equips. Just you watch. Here we go. Three equips coming up. <laughs> Here we go. Dude, it's one. Alright, it's fine. Whatever. It's good enough. That's fine. Okay. Another one. for the campaign A tech. I mean, why not? Yeah, a couple of these. Invisible wire is going to be better here. Still going for the 5-4-3 here. That's the only one you're gonna need. It's nice that's possible, because you know, bugs don't fuse with very much. If you had to go for 15 fusions, I'm sure an ATEC would really be possible. That's not great, but I think it's fine. Well, you should hold on to that equip then. See how this goes. 
It's harpies. All right, I'm gonna just call it. Try again. Hand was not good enough. We go again. This is my updated deck, right? Yeah. A uh, pretty good opener, I think. I should maybe put in some more equips. Now that should be good enough. Okay, better start. You know what? Yeah, let's be responsible here. <laughs> Too many plant guards, frankly. Intentional pumpkin that time. You can worry about the trap card situation. I've got five in the deck, but if you bottom deck two of the five, it's just over. Uh oh.
I could have kept that for MBD. I don't want to speed this along if I can. I'm also very worried. I'm gonna end up killing this guy. That's one. <laughs> okay, we're good. It's a little bit dicey. I was worried that was some kind of an NBD. That's <laughs> uh, fine. The odds of getting three Megamorphs in 15 card, the odds are 1%. It could happen. Also looking for Widespread, Bright Castle, Crush card, which is a meme, mostly Megamorph. Widespread. All right, well, I got something. Zero Megamorphs is a shame. All right, so time to go farm again. Although I'm gonna need some more coffee, I think, TBH. I'm gonna do one more ATEC then get some coffee. We'll keep the timer going. I've got at least one of every item on the tracker except Bright Castle and Mega Boy. Gotta turn that around real quick. Hmm. Interesting. This is very interesting. Another one, huh? Oh, that's slightly different than what I was expecting. Hmm. I'm gonna throw away this trap card, hope for the best here.
It's gotta be dry plus equip. Well, we got it. Good hand. I don't think this matters too much. Hello, Rena. How you doing? Damn, that's unlucky. Um... I could tie. This is probably a wrap. But maybe it'll be a super low roll or a defensive card. It's a back row, possible. It's so possible. This is a comeback A tech right here if I can pull this off. Uh, we still need two more trap cards and one, uh, no, sorry, uh, three more. Three more effectives. Yeah. Here's one. Yeah, 12 hour stream. You know, we got time for a little bit of dawn on top of everything else. Considering making a bug deck in Master Duel. I mean, how good could that possibly be? Maybe it is. Maybe it's secretly meta. I'd be surprised. Are you kidding me? I'm about to lose this, by the way. Because Pegasus can't draw something above 700 attack. Oh, he can, but he just chooses not to attack, huh? Cool. There's one. I think I'm gonna need one more, maybe. Thankfully, surely, you will attack here.
Okay. Tough one. That should be an A tech though. I think we're due for our first Megamorph. Very nice. There it is! Bright Castle. Oh, this is such a good A tech. Double Bright Castle plus a Megamorph. Oh boy. Gotta get three Megamorphs though. I'm tempted to leave after the second one. But now we gotta stick with it. So I'm gonna throw all three of these in here. Although actually, I wanna be careful not to boost something non-meta too high. So let's do this. One Bright Castle, one Megamorph. I'll do one more, we're on a roll here. I'm gonna do one more. Then a break. I was hoping for some kind of an equip for this. Yeah. That's alright, just get a Megamorph, it's all good. Nah, this one's done. This one's done. Not even widespread. I mean, Megamorph Jirai, maybe. Megamorph a lot of things could work. Oh, uh, this is actually good enough too. Very nervous about Raigeki, because of those trap cards. Wait, is this gonna be a Kaminari wizard? No, no, surely not. Yeah, yeah, okay. I was worried there. Hey, that's pretty nice. I'm gonna hold off though until um, until the regeki happens, which I know is coming. I know it's coming. How does this guy even have so many trap cards?
Okay, big play. Big time play. Now I have zero effective attacks. It's gonna be tough to get that up, but possible. Oh, so how many trap cards has it been? I think it's been one, maybe two. Playing one card a turn. I think that's all the trap cards I need, but I'm gonna play one more. I've never seen that card before today, now I've seen it twice. Okay, I'm gonna sack the Jirai Gumo. Feel more effective. Okay, probably an A set. I don't know. <laughs> that one was a total mess. Happy three hours. Why nice. Bright Castle, that's my third one. Megamorph. Another widespread. Really good, but I'm worried we're gonna end up being here a while. Trying to get Megamorph number two and three. Still, can't complain. All right, break time. I'll be back.
Okay, back. Let's get this run going again. Oh, that's easy. Potential easy mode Pegasus coming up here. Um, yes, it's barely good enough. my trap cards already. Look at this back row battle. This guy's not gonna know what hit him. Oh, here we go. Is this a little bit of overkill? I think it probably is. So how am I getting my life points down here? This might be a tricky one. Well, 100 HP at a time, I guess. Well... 
Yeah, this is enough. Sometimes you gotta just run into stuff. Alright, attack next turn. Megamorphs and I'm gone. With or without that final widespread. Uh-oh. Hey, two dragon captures. Nice. That was actually very good. Two dragon capture jars and my second uh, Megamorph. Put that in for sure. One more. I'm not gonna Megamorph, Gogi Boar. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Although for the record, I would've won. Oh jeez, you must be kidding me. Now I have to. Now that's a little bit sad. I gotta just go all in here. <laughs> it can be the blue eyes. One more can beat an MBD. She beat up a curry box with a rogue dog. Interesting. You know, that crow does kind of look like Malthus, doesn't it? Another Castlevania reference. So many of them.
Okay. That's an ATEC. Okay, show me the final Megamore. One in three chance. No, not that sad. No widespread either. Whole lot of nothing. Harpies, uh, I don't really get any use out of Harpies. I know it's like, not bad, but. It's kind of niche. Is a plant only run possible? Oh, absolutely, I'm sure. And we'll give that a shot at some point here. Hmm. This is potentially quite bad. If it's a Harpies, it's over. Raigeki, I'm actually happier to see the Raigeki, frankly. All right, so now what? Hercules, such a good card. It hits so many key thresholds. It's got good guardian stars. Mm -mm -mm. One of my favorites. Yeah, we could try a spellcaster run at some point. Next up's gonna be warriors, though.
it's not just you, Disco. If you haven't played this game before, a lot of what's happening feels arbitrary or confusing. It's a weird one. But speaking from experience here, you know, I watched this game for years on Twitch with no idea what was going on. And it's a good vibe game no matter what. But if you learn what's happening, it gets even more interesting. There's always a lot to keep track of. Okay, Megamore. Widespread! Fourth Bright Castle. Widespread! Megamore! Huge! This is such a good run. Man, I didn't get triple Megamorph in one duel, but you know what? It's fine. Alright, now we can just focus on winning the game. We're on pace for sub five right now. If you're not a bug card, please remove yourself from the deck. Let's get out of here. Look at all these equips. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Triple forest. I have ten forests, by the way. This is now a proper insect deck. I might as well burn one. Look at that ant. This ant has got 2,500 defense. Did I say 2,500? I meant 4,500. I can now wall an ultimate. Wild Cherry, catch you later. Maybe I should go for an ATEC versus Kaiba to get a crush card. What do you think? Is that the greediest possible decision I could make in this run? I think it is. No way. I've got 12 equips. If that's not enough, then maybe bugs are just bad. We might have to consider that being a possibility. You know, that's kind of interesting. <laughs> 
One bug I win. One bug. One bug. 2800 is nothing to me. One bug. Dude, one bug! <laughs> Where's the bug? Another twin headed, oh my god. It's the bug versus the meta. Where's the bug? Dude, I got it! Beedrill. Okay. If I get attacked here, I win. Oh, that's still fun. You cannot get either Great Moth or Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth in the original. You can get the Cocoon, though, with some of the most bizarre fusions you've ever heard of. Like Lamoon plus Ansatsu, or that one squid enemy plus Giant Soldier of Stone. I don't know why, but you can. Hey, you know what's cool? I could get a Dark Energy in the campaign here. That's another equip. Which is great, because I really need more equips. I don't have enough. I'm glad to hear it. That this run is making your FF14 grinding more fun. Yo, that's a third dragon capture jar. Whoa. That's really good. For later. I mean, 2k should be enough. But it's not a guarantee here, because this guy's also got Shirai Guma. Good. Right. Be extra safe. I didn't save. Might as well put that down. Um, I don't really care. <laughs> yeah, Plague, no problem. You won the pumpkin gift sub. I made a pumpkin. And it cost me like two, three minutes. I'd have to go back and look. That was the biggest mistake of the run so far. 
And I think people mentioned that I also miscalculated. Oh, jeez, let's go. Hard to miscalculate this one. Big Flea. That's a 5,500. But yeah, apparently I miscalculated against a uh, twin headed earlier. Couple mistakes, but you know, it's always gonna happen. The flea is too big. Hello, Saka, welcome. So, this is the best run I've ever had to this point by a mile. Dark energy for the road? Yo! Yes! It's going in. It's going in. It's going in. It's going in. Uh, I'm going to put that in over, um, I don't need three forests. Twelve equips wasn't enough. Now I've got thirteen. The Lila Run. You know, this is actually kind of a bad start. Um, Ooh, we'll Forest. It's a wall. <laughs> okay, good. Should be a win. Now we're gonna see if I get enough star chips to buy a uh, 
Hunter's Spider before the end. Oh, uh, well that's a throw. Ocean Mage, come on. Really bad. Gonna go for the turn one widespread. Is that a crab? Good. Crabbing his sewage and, um, tricky. This is a tricky one. This is a tricky one. Oh no, I win. Never mind. It's not that tricky. Well, I mean, let's just go with one of these. That's fine. It's good enough. Oh, we're doing final 600%. Even with all these equips, bugs are bad. Don't forget. There's a very small chance at a first try. I would take like 10th try, final six. down, four to go. Well, five if you count Labyrinth Mage. You know, I might as well just do Labyrinth Mage right now. Honestly. I'll beat up the second one and just do it ASAP. The great thing about the insect run is you get to fight Seto one, Seto 2 and Seto 3, all in one truly epic speedrun. I'm sure there will be nonsense in each. The fireworks fly whenever Seto is on the field. That's fine. Play this turn one.
Good. Well, not great, but good. See, Mega Beedrill. I mean, this seems pretty promising. Oh! Oh! Okay, well... We're almost there. Gonna need one more quip. <laughs> Gonna need one more quip. Okay, nice. This is why we put invigoration in the deck. Defensive desert mage this time around. Let's go see Seto again. I'm also going to very quickly check on my star chip counts. If I can get to 200 somehow and get one more good bug, we're not even close. Not even close. You know what that tells you? It tells you the farms have been excellent. Um, 
Not too bad. I'm gonna toss the dark energy though. Here comes Gate Guardian. There goes Gate Guardian. I mean, yeah, this is probably fine. Twenty nine hundred, not bad. Put it in defense. Oh, it's one of these. Oof. Well, mini Goki Bore. That hurts. Oh, it's Gate Guardian's second one. Why? <laughs> I'm probably gonna lose this now. Oh, hang on. Um, I'm gonna do this. Yep. Mm -hmm. Good call. He's not gonna have a third one. It's fine. Ooh. That's a wall, that's fine. I'm happy to live with that. Hercules is barely holding out against that top deck. <laughs> Another top deck, huh? Maybe it's not a top deck. Maybe the wall took priority. In which case, this guy has had Gate Guardian, Gate Guardian, Wall, Twin Headed, Twin Headed. Which is ridiculous. Hardest Labyrinth Mage of all time. Bugs are just better. Giant Scorpion of the Tundra, indeed. Nice D-Tech. All right, Seto. I have a feeling this is going to be a comedy fight. I'm ready for some shenanigans. I could have put in the dragon capture jars, but I don't know, this deck is good enough. Save those for set 03. Hmm. I like this opener. I still think the opener is fine. It's a fine opener. 
Mario time. It's a gay guardian, dude. Oh dear. Um, I can't risk a double harpies. Gotta go with one of these. It's not gonna be double gay guardian. <laughs> one equip, please. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, is that fine? Yeah, it's fine. I mean, it's just, I hate this guy. I really hate this guy. All right, it's fine. Go sun for good measure. It's fine. Double gay guardian set of two. And a harpies. Well, now I gotta be careful. I've only got 500 life points. Oh, suicide glitch. Got him, got him. I was like, wait a minute, ultimate? Doesn't make any sense. He doesn't know, he doesn't know. It's over. So here's how that works. Normally, the AI factors in equips, like the million equips I gave that Hercules, when doing damage calculations. But if you're within kill range without the equips, the best way I can put it is that the AI gets over eager and forgets about the equips. So set O2 for gore that Hercules was plus 2k compared to normal and attacked me. That's what happened. It's a very interesting mechanic. Almost certainly unintentional. Anyway, first try is sick. The good run gets even better. All right, so, um, looking for eradicating aerosol. I've only got one aerosol? Oh, that's bad. Only one bug spray. That lowers the chance we're actually gonna see this. Still, it's a cool card. And it's neat how it's actually relevant here in the bug run. I'm okay with the turn one moth. 
So long as I get a turn one bug spray, then it's just totally fine. Yo! Yo! Nice. <laughs> there it is! What do you got? I'm ready for the double ultimate. Back row, okay. I think this is already a win. Got him. Cool. Ah, why not? Nice Anubisius speedrun. Didn't even have to use the bug spray. I'm going in no particular order. This is roughly the order of difficulty with the bug deck from easiest to hardest. Mountain Mage is no joke when you're using bugs. I think it's definitely the second hardest. But look at this, Jirai with two equips is gonna lose to a Twin-Headed. It's pretty tough. Okay, um, yeah, this is the right play.
Not very nice. I believe that's a win. Although that back row is probably an equip, maybe not. Possible thanks to Forest, turn one. So that's definitely the right move. Is that another one? Wow, it sure is. Double B Skull on a Tenza. That's uh, the hardest possible a Tenza. But Bugs win. It's an Ape out. Whoa. Here it is. The final mage shrine. But it's the toughest one. I'm happy to slow roll this. Okay. <laughs> if I get an MBD, which is already over by the way, I cannot add it. It breaks of the rules of the challenge. It's a little bit past the 1600 threshold. Just by a little bit. Hey look, Beedrill got through the wall somehow. Nice. Only took like five equips. Oh, let's just, yeah, keep it simple. What if you add it, just never play it? That would be okay. But isn't it crazy to think that just a regular ant would be better in that situation than an MBD? It's true. I get them insect soldiers. Now you can get Quagar Hercules here. Like not the fusion, the actual Quagar card with an APAO. Same drop rate as MBD, we talked about that earlier. Not good enough. I think I just tossed the hand. 
I think we've had enough gay guardian today, wouldn't you agree? I think it's time for a gay guardian break. Anything but moon. It's moon, it's another uh, gate guardian. It's another one. Very cool. No back row. It's a wall, thank God. All right, looking pretty decent now. In fact, looking very decent. Um, I've got time for forest. Alright, so not bad. In fact, overall, this was an excellent mage section. Despite some crazy duels here and there. So I'll have a few chances to get a sub 5, and many, many chances to get a sub 6. It's looking really good. We'll see if I happen to get any decent bugs on the way during the campaign. Almost certainly not. I got a dungeon worm drop from Labyrinth Mage, my dude. That's a one in 1,000. That is straight up a one in 1,000. I have in my notes to always check that quote just in case, unquote. That's a one in 1,000. Insane. Despite the pump king, whatever, if I get a first try final six here, this is the run. Uh, the run. Let's go. Okay, GG. That's one! <laughs> That's one down! It's so nice having Triple Mega Morph, finally. After all the runs they got here with two, having three is a noticeable difference.
big ants. Almost. One more turn. That's a pretty good start. Harpies is just the bane of my existence. Just, you know, dude. <laughs> Let me just play my widespread in peace, if you don't mind. Yep. <laughs> I'm getting countered left and right here. However, that's a win. I was just stalling for time. Now it's over. He can't beat a 3200. Okay, here's where it gets interesting. I'm gonna put in two Dragon Capture Jars. Then I'll put in a third for set of three. Hmm. This is a tricky one. This is a tricky one. What if it's a gate guardian? Uh, I'm going for Megamorph here. Yeah. <laughs> it's a gate guardian. Wait a minute. No, it's not enough. <laughs> it's not enough. Oh, jeez. Um, actually, wait a minute. 24. Yes, it, it is enough if I do it like this. Just make 100% sure. 24, 34, yeah. Quagar Hercules having sun coming in clutch once again.
No MBD, if you don't mind. If it's MBD, it's over. Nice. A second Gay Guardian. Big boy. Big boy. Yep, that'll work. Alrighty. That was perfectly played. I think that was actually optimal. Oh, Beast Skull, never mind. I feel like three Dragon Capture Jars is too much. Two is fine. I'm sticking with two for set of three. Here we go. Although, on the other hand, how much is an 1100 attack bug gonna do for me right now? I'm gonna put in one more. I swear, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open with all magic cards and just instantly regret that. No, interesting. Um, this is actually kind of a bad hand. Um, I don't necessarily have to throw this. Because if I use Dragon Capture Draw, I'm just going to throw it next turn anyway. Okay, it's ultimate. So, Dragon Capture Char, no matter what. Obviously, we keep that. Now, if it's not a second one, there's a chance here. If it is a second one, I am dead. A back row, that's huge. That's huge. Okay. Um... I think I gotta go for it. I think I burned the trap card here. Clear the field. Now this should actually be it.
Yo, what is that twin-headed Thunder Dragon card? That one's new to me. That might be a password exclusive, I don't know. So I'm gonna do one Harpies here. That'll replace one of the uh, Dragon Capture Jars. I think that's fine, actually. Keep the rest the same. And then we're back to three for Nightmare, if I get there. Actually, you know what? Let me do this. Harpies is going in, and then uh, Invigoration's going in. Yeah, that's good. That's a bad hand. However, Dungeon Worm could be a difference maker here. What's the opener? It's an MBD. Damn, it might be over. That's a really bad top one for uh, for Dark Knight. Yeah, it's, this is a wrap, I think. I'm telling you, lately Dark Knight's been the toughest opponent for me. All right, I think just toss the hand now. Hope for something insane. <laughs> This is also where that dark hole might come in handy. Yeah, turn one is huge on this guy. Um, I can do this, but God, it might be worth doing this. Yeah, I think it is. I need to get equips. This is not going to be good enough. Unless there's a massive drop off. Damn, it's a blue eyes. I was one equip short. There goes one Megamorph. I got two more. Okay. That's actually really good. Oh my god, it's a bee skull fusion. I can tie this thing with the ant. One more equip. It's gonna have to be a tie. <laughs> but what if he doesn't equip? <laughs> um, well. I mean, alright. This is obviously my only move here. Or honestly, maybe I uh, defend. Yeah, sure, why not? And 
Now, sadly, neither of these equips actually work. I might throw this entire hand while I got the time. Like, I'd like to use this thing. But I think it's all about buffing the ants. That's pretty good. Tremendous fire, huh? I see. <laughs> An interesting one. Wonder what this could be. Yeah, I'm gonna slow roll this. Just a little bit. That was a fantastic duel. I mean, talk about nerve-wracking. If I can just get some wide spreads at the start here, it's gonna be over. If I can get 4,500 or above, it's over. No magic cards on this guy. No trap cards. One more game. I don't think this is it. <laughs> I might toss the dark hole. I think I am gonna do that. Not a great opener. Even one widespread would have been huge. It's possible you get a low roll here, just very unlikely. Wait a minute. That's relatively low for this guy. No ultimate. So we're looking at a 29 here. Go for Megamorph. You know what I meant, wrong ultimate. It's another one. I don't have time to play the widespread. This has been such an unlucky duel right here. It's still possible, but man.
draw a Megamorph and an Equip, it's over. I win. That's not good enough. It's over. Uh, that's really sad. Oh, well. Complete BS, but that is the nature of the game. I could barely get a sub 5 of a hustle here. Oh, you know, we're going to keep going. I mean, the goal time's final, uh... Or sub 6 for the final 6. So, you know, the god run is over. But I can still get a good time. This was never a one and done, or else it would have been a uh, final seven. I'm not sure I'm gonna get a nightmare that unlucky ever again. Three widespreads, but none in the opening hand. Zero megamorphs out of the three. Within any relevant amount of time. No Jirai Gumo. On the bright side, there wasn't an ultimate, I guess, but besides that, about the worst possible luck. Okay, I'm gonna hustle here. The pressure's a little bit off now. That exact same game plan. Until I win. Imagine a world where this was my opener for Nightmare. Just imagine. I'm going for just a speed run win at this point. I'm mad. I want some revenge. <laughs> Yo, Launcher Spider, it's not mine. But it's kind of cool that it's making a debut in the bug run. It's kind of neat. Say bad hand. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hmm. Bottom decking a lot of equips there. This could have been faster. Show me an easy mode. Nah, it's not that easy. It's not that easy. Um... Toss the hand, honestly. I'll keep the dark hole, but toss the rest. Another gay guardian. So many gay guardians today. Jeez. It's just this guy is not good enough. This guy is really not gonna cut it. Barring a Megamorph. That's another one, it's over. All right. What we're losing time now, sub five is dead. This is just nowhere near good enough. Triple Megamorph, can't find one. No back row. Is that a third Gate Guardian? No, Zera. I mean, top deck, Hercules something. No. Brutal. Next one. Going for the sub six now. That was always the goal time. We're just back to our expectations from before the run. Got crazy. Plenty of time. Now, when it comes to star chips, I checked. I'm like over a hundred short. And what I can buy is a 1600 bug. So yeah, would not be worth it. Look at that dungeon one. Is gonna win me the duel. I still can't believe I got that drop. Insanely lucky.
good Sebek. Nice and quick. It's actually not a bad opener, because I'm almost certainly going to get some equips for Jirai. There we go. And yeah, we'll throw these. That's a win. Here we go again. I just, I'm looking for a no gate guardian duel. Looking for a no gate guardian. Um. If it's a harpies, that's fine. It's a harpies, that's fine. I didn't have anything good to use as bait, really. On the bright side, the uh, more limited equips are out of the way here. It's a Gate Guardian. Again, dude. Again. Harpy's Gate Guardian. What an opener. Yeah, this is, uh, this is not going to work. I'm going to throw one of these. Here comes the Megamorph. Very sad, nothing you can do. I would need a true miracle draw here. And that's not it. It's over. Okay, we go again. I have to throw this. 
Now I'm gonna keep him. It's over. Gate Guardian, Gate Guardian, Megamorph Zera. I just... I, I might have the worst Haishin luck of anyone. We'll get an easy Haishin someday. Maybe next year. Reminder, if this does not sub-6, which is now looking somehow possible, the bug runs will continue. If it does sub six, I'm done. Even if it's a five, five, nine, five, nine, we're gonna move on to something else. Nice metal fish pickup. Hey, remember when uh, Set of One used that? Like four hours ago? I can't believe he fused that. Oh, this is uh, not good. I'm gonna go for the turn one. He's got Mage J.I., so I could probably bait him there. Yeah. More I should have held on to one bug, I guess. Um, oh no, wait a minute, this is enough. Hang on. You're right. Not what I was expecting, but it'll work.
Okay, again, this time, it's gonna be so free. You've never seen a Haishin this smooth in your life. I mean... <sighs> I gotta play Forest. I mean, another idea is to face down Forest. So it's just like that, it's over. I mean, what an epic game, man. <laughs> of course, this time he doesn't have RBs. Back row. No, it's over. <laughs> it's just completely ridiculous. All right. I'm losing faith in sub six here. Important to stay positive in the face of overwhelming BSRNG. Okay, nice speed run. Only got through one loop of the song very quick. Yo, Pump King! Wait a minute, it's all coming together. We had the accidental Pump King. Now I got the Pump King drop. This is it. This is the run. Hello, KJJ, thank you for the good luck. It's just been so bad. Like, the farms have been insanely good. Truly insane. But then, like... <laughs> the final six RNG. It's just making me sad. That's alright, this run's gonna turn around.
How many Atex in total? Not as many as you'd think. This might not be enough, but I gotta just go for it at this point. It was like five or six Pegasus, I think it was six Pegasus Atex. Probably five or six Weevil Atex. Got to go for a dry, obviously. Haishin, you owe me. <laughs> it's not good enough. It's not good enough. All right, keep these two. Honestly, maybe even throw the Bright Castle. Yeah, I'll throw the Bright Castle. Just keep the Megamorph. Megamorph is a miracle card. Pump King, give me strength. No moon. It's gonna be Gay Guardian every single time. Just every single run, it's gonna be Gay Guardian. Nope, oh, okay, it's over now. GG. I mean, I'll try it. Why not? Quang. Well... I don't even know what to do here. One more equip and I can win with a dungeon one. <laughs> Go for the equip? So I can either widespread or just throw away both cards and leave a totally empty field, which gives me a better chance at drawing the equip, which frankly I'm doing. It's a double gay guardian. What is wrong with this guy actually? It wouldn't have mattered. It just wouldn't have mattered. I think this is the right play, though. This is a good play. Uh, so when it comes to the Megamorph, Chrome, isn't that only when it's totally empty? I think if, uh, if he's got a monster, I'm not sure the odds are as high. Maybe they're the same. But in my experience, it seems a little bit less likely.
Well, who's talking about magic lock? That situation had um, nothing to do with magic lock. Are you just mean like hypothetically? Mm. I'll keep these two. I might lose to Sebek here. Kidding me? <laughs> Alright, no widespread here, so I can attack freely. That's already a GG. If I can get the order correct here. There we go. Now it's a GG. Megamorph sure is good. Probably gone Jupiter with Hercules. I'm not gonna make a big difference, it's dead other way. Oh, never mind. Interesting. Well, that's a win.
I guess Sun was the right call. It's tough because uh, Dark Magician and Skull Knight have a Mercury, and then Summon Skull's got Moon. Same with Zoa. So I guess it's kind of a 50 50. But Jirai always goes Jupiter. Oh, yeah, Dark Elf as well. That one's a little less common. I give up. Haishin's just gonna just play however he wants. There's nothing I can do, except pray. It's not even necessarily that bad. It's still not even necessarily that bad. I, um... I need to get a monster of some kind. That'd be nice. See, here's what's gonna happen. It's gonna be Gate Guardian attacks an empty field. And then even if I get a Miracle Draw, it's gonna be some spell card to kill me. So it's already over. It's just, it's already over. It's already done. Sad. <laughs> he needs to top deck a Gate Guardian. Gee, what are the odds of that, I wonder? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Double B Skull Megamorph. That's just fantastic. I should not a fan of the insect deck. Not a fan. I'm I'm actually speechless at how truly ridiculous the Haishin RNG has been. This is, uh, this is one for the books. Forty five minutes. She's not looking great. Realistically, I got one more chance. If I can get past Haishin one more time, I'm gonna have one more chance. This is an epic duel. What an epic duel. All right, let's go. I mean, I definitely win this.
yo dragon zombie. Oh, by the way, Pump King, let me down. I forgot to call out Pump King. That Pump King run was not the run. I'm very disappointed. Just, you know, we went from having a run that could have been four and a half hours to not even being sub six. I'm depressed. This could have been the run of the insect gods. Shout out to Hollow Knight, but it just it isn't. Three Megamorphs not enough, I need five. Okay, look, best case scenario here is you start with forest and widespread. Maybe I'll put in a third forest card, honestly. Forest plus widespread. That way you can face down forest turn one. Potentially better to harpies, and if it's no harpies, then it's just it's a great situation to be in. I'm putting in the third one, I don't even care. Gotta try to do something different. Take out uh, Invigoration. Is it gonna work? No. No, it's not. It's gonna be Triple Megamorph. It's a gate guardian again, 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 again. It's a double gate guardian again, again. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, it's Zara. Okay, hang on. This is uh, not good enough, though. If I had one more equip, it'd be fine. So, um, okay. Yeah, so I, I gotta keep the alpha, because um, Hercules has sun, and Dungeon Worm doesn't. Yeah, one more equip were in there, of any kind. No back row. Kind of rude. Oh my god. He's out of stuff. One equip. I've got 13 equips. I need one equip. Uh, it's just... GG again. GG again. 
GG again. More horrendous RNG. Just can't do it with this guy. Less than 40 minutes remain. And uh, a good final six takes about 20 minutes. So if we get to around the, uh, the 545 mark or something, it's just truly over. Just makes me wonder, how long is this grind gonna take? I wanna move on to other Yu-Gi-Oh projects, but I can't until we get the bug run. Gotta keep doing this. You know what I haven't, oh by the way, this is just an absolutely horrendous start. You know what I haven't seen at all during this final six? At least during like a tough duel? Jirai Megamorph Megamorph. I mean, where is that? You think that would have happened once or twice? That's cool. Dry Gumo plus light plus dark. Fancy. Oh no, Swords of Revealing Light is uh, out of the route. It's been gone for a while. It was just way too inconsistent. It's cool. And maybe one day we'll go back and revisit that with like uh, a Swords of Revealing Light gimmick run. Because it's not as hard to set up as you might think, but it's just not consistent enough to be practical.
exactly kill. I guess we'll try Triple Forest again. I don't know, who cares? It just, it does not matter. At this point, I'm just more excited to see what Haishin's cooking up. It's always something pretty funny. A lot of good cards here. A lot of real good cards, yeah. I think I tossed this, though. It's, uh, a blue eyes. Oh my god, it's easy mode. But it's not... <laughs> Alright. Uh, forest? Yes. We got plenty of time. Top deck B Skull plus Megamore. Hilarious. I mean, really, really funny. Really, really funny. Really funny. I'm just, I'm not sure how you're supposed to play this. Even easy mode is just impossible because he top decks. I'm about over this run. Is it worth doing a few meadow duels for a quick Hercules? Not even close, no chance. MBD drop rate for a 1900? No way. I mean, it's better than that than going for like a third Jirai. Definitely not third Jirai. Right. 
Now, I think both of those are super suboptimal. If you're gonna spend more time on duels, you wanna spend more time getting equips. It's kind of the same deal with regular speedruns. MBD is honestly not a great card to get, because anytime you spend trying to farm MBD, you could spend farming Megamorph. Same deal. I just want to have one more shot. One more shot, that's it. Can I get one more shot, Haishin? Okay, this is just the most promising thing. Wait, don't I just win here? Doesn't Giant Flea carry me to victory? Yeah, I just went. Yeah, I just went. Cool. This is not easy mode. This is sometimes you gotta do it yourself mode. Just get above Gate Guardian. That's what it takes, it's another gay guard. <laughs> of course it is. Oh, it's a beast. Okay, it's a beast skull, never mind. Could have been worse. Yeah, I don't believe uh, Gay Guardian 50%. It's like people who say that Weevil has Jirai 6% of the time. No. It's way more. It's like 25% actually. I don't believe in any of these rates. I think the AI has got some budding intelligence. It knows how to screw you over. It reacts in real time. Okay, so I mean, if you get that kind of a draw, you're just gonna win. Yeah, the on paper odds are like 15% for Weevil Jirai. I was told it was 6%, which is completely us. But I think it's more than 15.
It happens way too often. Alright, this is the last attempt here. I mean, maybe I'll do one more if I get completely owned. <laughs> if this one's not even close, we'll go one more. Okay, Invigoration out. Third one of these in. This is not good. I think I burned the hand here, unironically. There's no Megamorph. There's no widespread. If I knew if it was gonna be an ultimate or not, then I could make more of an informed decision here. Let's assume it's an ultimate. Yeah, these three do just nothing for me. I, I gotta throw them. Gotta throw. However, look at this 3k defense. If it's the easiest easy mode set 03, it can wall of blue eyes. Oops. Not good enough. See, I just, there's nothing I can do. It's done. By the way, three Dragon Captured Jars, a Dark Hole, and a Raigeki, and three Wide Sprints. Just for the record. It's just such a joke. I'm, I'm just so upset at how this has gone. I am the unluckiest Forbidden Memories player. At least when it comes to the final six. Whether it's this or 15 card or any percent, I just get the most insane patterns. I've been watching this game for years. No one else has to deal with this volume of BS. Okay, we'll do one more run. Then I might honestly cut stream. It's been a sad, sad end to the bug run. This is it, final attempt. If I die to Savic, then just too bad. This is almost good enough. Insect coming up.
Or it's a magic card. I was thinking it was a trap card. Do it like this. That's a good card. Alright, I know that Haishin's gonna kill the final attempt, but how do you think he's gonna go about doing it? I'm feeling a Megamorph GG, personally. I think it's gonna be a Megamorph GG. And just think, I got the 1 in 1,000 dungeon worm. It's never gonna happen again. No, it can't be a Dark Knight Ender. Because getting to Dark Knight implies I beat Haishin. And I can't beat Haishin. There's no way. I've seen worse openers. Megamorph I win. We're going for equips, yeah? Hmm. Ooh. One equip. One equip I win. That's it. Not a top deck. Love to see it. Yeah, you gotta just do this. Okay, now that is for sure a win. So we might get the one more blessing.
Please no Exodia. No, 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 no. I would much rather get exodia That's one of my goals in life is a Forbidden Memories professional. Is getting exodia I want to join the club of like 10 people who have gotten exodia with video evidence. That's way more important than winning the bug run. Let's be real. It's funny because every clip I've seen of Exodia is like, oh, Exodia, no. Me, I'm like, let's go, Exodia, let's go. That's how it's gonna be. If, if that actually happens, if I'm ever lucky enough and fortunate enough. I just, you know, this is, I'm just, you know, there's nothing to bait here. You, you gotta just play this, I think. What, are you gonna bait an insect laser? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, no harpies. Oh, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. Hang on. Whoa. I've actually got time to play this thing. That would only be a 32. So options are either throw the hand except for the equips or play forest. I'm tempted to throw. Get some defense, get some draws going. Forest is nice. Thing is, if I throw and it's a second ultimate, I actually have a chance to win. I'm assuming a second ultimate. Oh, it's a B skull. Oh no, just kidding, it's Gate Guardian. So that was the right call, I think. Let's see. Damn. It's not gonna matter, it looks like. It's another gay guardian. Yeah, even if I had played forest, I couldn't quite wall with big insect. So uh, let's do one of these. Keep the megamorph, toss the rest. If I get some removal here, that's going to be massive. Damn. That is really unfortunate. Oh, wait a minute, I win! Oh, boy! <laughs> He's got sun! He's got sun! This is the most clutch Guardian Star in the whole game. The anti-gate guardian. Huge. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. That's the wrap. Let's not go overboard here. Yeah? 
I've got to hustle here if I want to get the sub six now. We gotta go. Possible. Oh, so the AI has to put cards that are 3,000 attack or higher in attack. They can't go to defense. Yeah, that was a magic lock situation. Because my, um... My, my Hercules guy was boosted by like 2,000 or whatever. Even more than that. So that magic was not going to get played. Alright, so what's going in? We got Harpies. And honestly, that's it. Put the Harpies in over one of the Ed Dragon Capture Jaws. Oh my god, look at the timer. I've got just over five minutes. Um, 3k, I'm not sure. Stall a turn. That's a 3k. I can at least tie one more equip, it's over. Got him, oh boy, oh boy. Giant flame. Oh, this would be so clutch. Then you can hear about me being the least lucky Forbidden Memories player. <laughs> My complaining will be in the PB video. Um. Yeah, who cares? Just something like, oh jeez, I'm wasting time for no reason. This. This would be so clutch. I'd be happy with this run. It's definitely been a roller coaster run. I think it'd be a hilarious bug deck PB. See what we're working with here. I've got a 32 right now. Not an ultimate. I can beat him. Oh my god, it's a 3k opener. This is it. This is it.
Widespread next turn. Hope for no top deck. Good. Tryhorned Dragon, okay. This is kind of anticlimactic. <laughs> this is it, huh? I got time for this. The one in 1,000 dungeon worm is gonna be in the BB video. I'm pumped. It's over, I win. It was so easy. Why wasn't it like this 90 minutes ago? He's dead. All right, let's not mess around here. <laughs> I want to make the big bug, but let's get the better PB time. Look at this. Look at this. Five fifty nine. In a run this volatile with this much farming, are you kidding me? It's within one minute. Okay, so sub four and a half is actually possible. I'll grind that out like next year. I'm just pumped. We did it. LS, Lila became the greatest of pharaohs with the bug deck. If it's possible with the insect deck, it's probably possible with anything. Oof. This has been an intense grind. That was not the way I expected it to get cleared, but I'll take it. I'm feeling very accomplished right now. The sheer patience on display. Next up we got Warriors. I'm gonna do the same challenge concept with the same rules, but with the Warrior class, which should be a lot easier. Had a ton of fun. I think non-meta Forbidden Memories has got a lot of untapped potential like this.